Hello, happy Halloween. I'm here in the Ave Maria Grotto again doing a lunchtime video. I wasn't able to make one over the weekend because I was at an Eden Munoz concert in El Paso and I just didn't have time. I could have, I could have made an effort, but I guess I'm just not into the blogging lifestyle yet enough to want to walk down the streets of downtown El Paso filming a video because the concert was um, in downtown. Uh, that's where uh, we stayed and um, also went to St. Patrick's Cathedral, which is also downtown, and it was very nice, and I suppose I could have made a video, but I didn't want to spend the time, and also I like just enjoying my time uh, when I go out of town. I don't always like to film videos. I did try to get a couple of pictures of Ed and Munoz, and I posted one, and uh, you'll, you'll find that on my channel. I posted one decent picture that I took you know I didn't have up close seats at all so I'm surprised that it turned out as well as it did but uh, there he is with his accordion and uh, you can see the there was a whole brass section on the tier behind him and of course the uh, he also played the bajo sexto and uh, there were uh, let's see I can't think of what that little Mexican guitar I think it's the vihuela uh, there was one of those and a um, tololoche and another accordion player. It was amazing. An entire percussion section. So it was great. The music was wonderful and I loved it. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a little sad to have a concert like that in a concert hall where there's no room for dancing. There's no dance floor, but it, the music was still amazing. So that's great. And you know, you know, Mexicans like to dance, so they will find a way to dance, even if they only have like six inches of space. <laughs> so that's always fun. And uh, yes, it's Halloween. It's busy here. Um, I don't know what you think of Halloween, but to me, it's just All Hallows Eve. It's the Eve of All Saints Day, and All Saints Day has been practiced in the church for centuries. It was originally um, meant to commemorate the martyred saints and then uh, later on by the 9th century it was codified on uh, October 31st and um, as the name suggests it was at that point meant to commemorate all saints instead of just the martyred ones who have the people who have gone before us Christians who have gone before us it's good to commemorate them so uh, this is like I said this is a busy time of year busy busy week for the church uh, and so and it's a busy week in my life and you know October is just a busy time of year and November and well December I guess things kind of slow down at Christmas and then they they get uh, they sort of smooth out into January January gets downright boring right because it's not nearly as exciting <laughs> but October November December are so busy but I thought I would just make a 15 minute video I I've been thinking, I have this image stuck in my head, so I wanted to share it. I I watch a lot of Christian videos, I think I've said that before, and a lot of them are prophetic videos um, where people do post uh, their, their dreams and visions, and I don't know if, if people's personal dreams really apply to other people, but maybe if they are actually prophets, they, um, have been given words that they do. I don't know. This was uh, the image that I wanted to share with you comes from a dream that I had, but I don't think it's really a prophetic dream. I just think that the imagery itself appeals to a broad audience. So I thought I would share that at least the first part of the dream with you. The rest is, I think, a little more personal and probably not applicable to um, all people. Uh, but the first part of the dream was and has left me with these powerful images in my head and that's I guess why I want to share them. So the dream started out in a Catholic church, kind of an unfamiliar church, kind of familiar and unfamiliar at the same time the way dream uh, places work and there were a priest there that kind of looked familiar <laughs> again kind of probably an amalgam of various priests that I have met or um, seen at at masses and uh, he wait, there was no mass going on I'm not really sure what was going on in the parish but the priest um, 
brought me a platter of food, a giant platter of food, and it was heaped full of food, just like the most delicious, succulent looking food you could imagine. I couldn't tell you what it was because that wasn't really important in the context of the dream, but he gave it to me, or he tried giving it to me, and I felt hesitant, like, why is he giving me this food? I don't deserve this. I don't matter enough to have this. Why is he giving me this? And so I just stood there awkwardly not taking it. And meanwhile, because I had hesitated, all these people just came up, scavengers just came up and just stole all the food. They took it all. And then all that was left was an empty platter. And I felt very sad because I knew I'd lost out. And I thought, well, could I have this again? Is it, would it be possible for me to um, be able to order this food? And at that point, <laughs> the, the church became a cafe and there were uh, banquet tables laid out all over the church. And um, I ordered the same dish that the priest had given to me. And because I ordered it, I started a fad and all kinds of people around me started ordering it, including my son, because he, he's in my dreams a lot because he's the only child that's left in my home. All my other kids have grown up and left. <laughs> I, I assume that's why he's in my dreams, but he, he tends to be in my dreams fairly frequently. So I assume that's why, because, you know, he's, he's my last one. <laughs> And uh, when he leaves, then I'll have an empty house, and that will be very sad. I think, at least at first. I'm, I'm sure I'll get used to it, as all people, all parents do, if they get used to that. But anyway, so he ordered it, his friends ordered the same dish, um, people, many people around me ordered the same dish, and when it arrived, it was the same exact food that the priest had offered me, free, and this was one, of course, that, well, I don't think there was any indication that I was paying for it, but it was something that I had to specially request rather than being given. And it was on a much smaller plate, smaller portions. The food was the same, but um, yeah, it was a little disappointing because I knew that because I had waited and had to request it myself, uh, that I would be given a smaller portion. And at that point, you know, the dream went on to its other two parts that are uh, more personal and probably not applicable to other people. But the reason I think why that part of the dream resonated so much is that, well, first of all, a priest is representative of, of godly gifts, gifts that come from God. You know, the priests, they, they, um, they, they're the ones who offer the, the hosts and, and the wine, if you have wine in your parish, as the body and blood of Christ. But in this case, um, the priest was offering me something else. And it, I think it was clear to me in the dream context that if I had taken the offering when it was given, that I would have had that large portion. But since I waited, I j literally just have fewer years in my life left to enjoy that offering and that's why the portions are so much smaller i think that it's a lesson in um, not hesitating when god gives you gifts and when god calls you to something don't hesitate take it when it's offered and you will have that abundance but if you wait um, god is still Oh, generous and wants to give you good gifts, but maybe it will be smaller because you have quite literally fewer years left to live your life. And uh, that's all I really wanted to share today was that the, well, <laughs> I, I was thinking also earlier today um, about other images that have have been imprinted in my mind in the last few months because I've had a lot of dreams and a lot of odd things. Uh, I don't know. Depends on what you consider odd. But the other image that I have stuck in my head is, of course, of dragonflies. And I have a dragonfly on my book cover, which I linked to in another video, although I might link to it here as well. I'll, I'll link to it below. It has a dra dragonfly on the cover, but that is because 
I have been seeing dragonflies everywhere for months and it is very mysterious and very weird not I would consider not even very normal but like hundreds and hundreds of dragonflies and I've dreamed of dragonflies and they follow me places they follow me <laughs> I'll have a pair of dragonflies follow me when I'm on my walk and of course now that we've hit these colder temperatures that might cease to happen but some of the some of the experiences that I've had with dragonflies are downright weird such as the moment when a dragonfly landed on a bush and I leaned in close to look at it and I was must have been my nose must have been uh, a fraction of an inch from this creature and he turned his head and he looked at me and we just stared at each other and dragonflies have giant compound eyes very very large I, I don't know um, I think they must be much larger than other insect eyes that would be my guess just from seeing them up close and I started thinking we're doing the book of Ezekiel and the yearly Bible that I listen to daily and it just got me thinking of the wheels in the sky and uh, the descriptions of angels and I thought well maybe dragonflies are angels and his compound eyes are the wheels <laughs> I, I know the the descriptions of the wheels in the sky aren't exactly like dragonfly eyes that it's probably a bit of a stretch but it was the thought that I had when I was staring at this dragonfly and he turned his head and he looked at me and we just stared at each other I even reached out and touched him and he did not move he did not fly away and we just stared at each other and I, I know that dragonflies are predators so maybe he was staring at me to consider how he could take me on you know as prey or maybe he was just scared and didn't want to move. I don't know. I probably petrified the poor little creature. But we started each other. And I've had so many uh, little experiences like that, such as another day when I was out walking and talking to my uh, book cover, uh, my book cover artist about the book cover with the dragonfly on it. I was followed by this dragonfly and I had stopped by the side of a park and I was just standing on the road and this dragonfly just... Uh, it, it basically flew down to the blacktop and just stay there and stay there at my feet and when a car drove past the dragonfly would fly up and it would fly down <laughs> and it it was just the craziest experience because I was talking about uh, my book cover with the dragonfly on it and um, looking at it as she was working on it we were doing a um a FaceTime call so I was watching her while she was working on it and watching this dragonfly fly up fly down when when cars would go zoom past and uh, it just stay there and I walked away before it flew away and same thing with the dragonfly that was in the bush I walked away first um, the dragonfly never flew away so I thought that was neat but the, my first um, experience with the dragonflies uh, that was on I'm gonna say it was at the very end of July so I had a I looked out my front window and there were hundreds of dragonflies in my front yard just hanging there like this beautiful gold and I was playing my accordion at the time and I have all this bling on my accordion and the way the sun was glinting on the accordion it was flashing all this gold around too so it was this beautiful moment where I had my flashing gold accordion and the flashing dragonflies in the yard and that happened uh, a second night in a row where there were hundreds of dragonflies in the yard the third night I had a dream about dragonflies when I was actually with my book character. Um, we were hanging out. <laughs> I do dream about my book characters. I don't know. That might be the first one where I've dreamed of myself hanging out with a book character. But I was hanging out with my book character and there were dragonflies flying around us. And that's how the whole dragonfly thing started. And it just it got weirder and weirder and weirder as, as the months have gone by. And I don't know how to explain it, but um, my eyes have definitely just been uh, keyed into looking at dragonflies and I recognize their flight pattern so if I see that flight pattern I know that there's a dragonfly around me <laughs> I don't know call me crazy if you want but uh, this is something that has been happening to me in the past few months along with dreams many 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 dreams that I've had with powerful imagery like the one that I shared about the priest giving me this abundant plate of food that I didn't eat and other people scavenged it. Well, I, uh, 
I'm not going to let people scavenge my gifts anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to hesitate. I'm just going to jump in there and live my life and and do what God wants me to do, or at least that I feel like God is calling me to do. And uh, that includes uh, the book that I'm going to be publishing in November. And it is at the editors, still at the editors, and I'm just finishing up my, I'm formatting, putting the, putting things together um, so that when she's done editing, it will be ready to upload to Amazon. And I can't tell you the exact date because I've never worked with the editor before, so I don't really know what kind of time frame she, um, she allows for each book that she does. So I, I'm not going to be too particular about it. It will be published when it's published, and I will announce that. And uh, I, the ebook will probably probably be published before the print because it's much easier to uh, just upload an ebook, whereas with a print book you have to get proofs and look at the proof copy. So that's all I have to say today. Happy Halloween, um, in the traditional sense, Catholic sense of the holiday, not the weird Wiccan evil pagan sense. I don't mean that at all, but. Have a great day nonetheless, and also have a great All Saints Day, and I will see you on another video.